my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I don't know if you guys can tell, but Bahati Life merchandise is here. It is covered in a little bit of, I don't even wanna say lint, but for a black hoodie that I wore, and that since, since they came in, I put them on. I have not taken them off. I actually think that this is the medium that I put on. Um, even though I'm a small, but these are men's sizes, and I had the small on originally. It was kind of big on me, but in a good way, because I liked it like that. There's a reason why I chose that, because I love things to be comfy and a little, you know, loose. But I switched to the medium, and I slept in this last night, and I am just so in love with it, you guys. I had so much fun working on these mer these hoodies for you, and for me, and for my family, and for my friends. Look at the logo on the back. I am obsessed. I haven't taken it off, obviously, and I've been wearing this all last night all today there's no lint on it i mean i i knocked it out of the ballpark when i chose this and when i got it designed and i'm really hoping that you guys love it i feel like you will it's something that you guys have been asking for for a minute and i finally was able to get it done for you while i was here in new orleans we did a little photo shoot so you can see the links for that down below um and honestly it's such a freaking honor to be able to share this and to create and to you know hopefully see you guys wearing the same hoodie and then we're watching the videos together we both have the the hoodie on it says star tribe right here i'll put the photos down below so you can check it out but honestly this is one of one of the most exciting and fun projects that i've i've worked on my entire career because it was so light and not heavy you know what i mean it was just a lot more fun creating it and working it and the process of getting it done there was no no you know i don't want to say struggle but it was very easy and very effortless and that's kind of the vibe that i set for myself the intention that i set from now well when i started working on these and then as we move forward into 2020 that being said, oh my gosh, you guys, we are walking into, at least I am, walking into one of the busiest weeks of my life. Um, one thing that I have to say is that Mercury finally is going direct today, at least today, the day that I'm filming, which is November 18th. Now, Mercury was retrograde November 1st. I know that you guys know and you've heard about Mercury retrograde um, at least so far. And I have controversial, meaning not controversial, but I really dive into the planet, the energy of the planet, and I don't fall victim to anything. That's not how I feel the universe has arranged itself. And I feel like this mentality that we have, that we kind of adopted, is you know fear tactics, and it's coming from a point of miseducation when it comes to fearing when a planet goes direct or retrograde. You guys hear me saying this again and again, that if you know how to work with the planets, you have literally nothing to fear. And my purpose and my goal for creating the YouTube channel, because I'm shy and I did not want to put my face out there, but I felt so called to do it was because I wanted people to be informed and educated when it came to working their magic, working with the planets. And I do the best that I can to deliver precise messages in detail and I don't like to take shortcuts with that or anything. And you guys, if you're part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, you know that about me by now. So all that to say that November, I don't know if you guys have been feeling it, but since November 1st um, until today, it just seemed like, and of course it did, but for me personally, there was so much movement. There was so much things that were getting kicked up, not in a bad way. It was things that I had been feeling and sensing and working towards and had on the back burner that came up to front and center. And it was just like, hey, Jess, here's an opportunity. I'm going to present this to you. Do you want to do this? What do you want to do with this? And what do you see for yourself? What does this look like? And the beauty of this and why this is, is because Mercury rules our mind. It rules how we communicate, what we're thinking about, the vibes that we're putting out there when it comes to our, um, our mental activity, which is so important and so powerful because this is how we set intention and this is how we manifest. And when Mercury was going through and transiting through Scorpio, these revisitations of things that, you know, ideas, people, situations that we thought that we kind of left in the dust or old ideas, old concepts, old things from the past when they present themselves now, 
they have matured, they have evolved in some, some way. And Mercury moving through the sign of Scorpio is a representation of that and brings that energy into your life now during the Mercury retrograde phase. So this isn't a negative thing. If anything, it presents these old opportunities and asks you, look, this is here now. Now that you have this ability to look in depth in things because Scorp uh, Scorpio energy, Mercury moving through Scorpio rules that type of vibe. Now that you have the capacity to think on such a deeper level and not superficial level, what are you going to do with this information? What are you going to do with this relationship? What are you going to do with this project? What do you see for yourself? Now, you guys have heard me say over and over and over again, all of 2018, all of 2019. Why? Because this energy does not stop with just our cycles. You know what I mean? Like how we kind of work our calendar energy of the planets and energy of the cosmos doesn't work on our team on our timetable it works on its timetable so there's been this higher evolved level of transformation that a lot of you guys have been feeling you guys have been telling me in the comments you've been telling me in your emails in your dms and your comments on my instagram um how much you felt yourself being transformed and if it wasn't for that transformation process, if it wasn't for that evolution, if it wasn't for this death, this rebirth, this reemergence, this resurrection that you've been experiencing, not only internally, but in your life around you, when Mercury goes retrograde at a time like this from November 1st um, to today, November 18th, um, this you would you would be making the same mistakes or it's not that you would make a mistake, you would make a decision based upon a lower... Um, expectation, a lower, um, I don't say prerequisite, but um, standard for yourself. And if it wasn't for all of that transformation and then Mercury going retrograde in Scorpio, I really feel like the majority of us would sit back and we would settle. We would say, you know what, I am quite content here in this level five when the universe and the divine and your astrology chart has you destined for level eight and a half, nine, ten, ten 10 being the greatest thing that you could ever experience. And then if you go above and beyond into level 11, level 15, like gosh darn, you know, that's, that's some serious, serious blessing. But to even reach a level 10 is great. Now these are all metaphors, but that's just how my brain works. You know what I mean? That's just how my brain kind of works its way out. So that's what we've been experiencing up until this point, you know, November 1st through no November 18th. There have been a little bit of complications and a little bit of annoyances, things that could really stress you out um, and mentally make you feel like, oh my God, this is so irritating, this is so frustrating. But the reality is, is that I felt like so many of you guys, you knew what you were dealing with. You knew, like you had the tools, the resources to kind of, you know, pull everything back in, pull back into your personal power and then... Uh, I don't want to say investigate, but for some of you guys, maybe that's your word. Maybe it is that you were investigating, but I feel like you were kind of weighing out the pros and the cons and facing your fears and then realizing that your fears, your hesitation, your anxiety, those are things that limited you and you're actually aligning, you know, despite having those fears, despite having that, like, I'm doing this alone or I'm stepping into my power or I want this so badly for myself or this is everything that it is that I wanted, but even taking that step, I'm afraid, but I'm gonna do it anyways. There's so many of you guys that have been doing that or preparing to do it. And others of you have been doing this internal seeking, this internal dive, divation is what I'm gonna call, where you've just been really going through, sorting through the muck, sorting through the internal personal stuff, the things that have triggered you in the past and working to heal them. And that in itself is just as brave as, and courageous as a person who's stepping out and launching things or starting a new life or doing things according to what is right for them, not what the rest of the world would say, oh, but you just did this or why are you doing that? That doesn't make any sense. We want you to do this or this is better for you. No one can tell you what is best for you outside of you. So you really have to listen to your vibe. You have to listen to your intuition. And it was during this Mercury retrograde phase and all of what's been going on through 2018 and 2019 that you have been reevaluating and investigating and making firm decisions when it comes to what is that you want for yourself. Now, some of you guys have signed leases. You guys have signed contracts. Oh man, my battery. Um, some of you guys have signed leases and contracts that, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions like just, you know, this came through. If it's something that you um, 
you know, we're thinking about and you revisiting, I support it. You have my 100% support when it comes to you deciding. The thing is, is that Mercury going retrograde and Mercury being retrograde, it's not like Saturn or Pluto or Jupiter or Neptune being retrograde, which by the way, Neptune's gonna, um, is now retrograde, but it's gonna be turning direct again on the 27th, but I'll have a whole video for you guys on that one. It just doesn't, when Mercury is retrograde, it doesn't have the same, it doesn't carry the same punch, even though, you know, it's retrograde, it's not in full force, it may create some um, regret or some adjustments later on, but it's nothing that you and I can't handle if that was to come across, you know, if that is a path in your life that you're going to have to handle. So don't have any regret. Don't have any, you know, buyer's remorse, you know, like it is what it is. It's a part of the process. It's part of the journey. And if you're doing that internal seeking, you're, you're, you're fine. You know, I really, really feel that. Um, I don't want to dive too much into astrology for this week um, because all of those posts are going to be going out on my Twitter. So make sure that you're following me on Twitter. I'm not trying to shamelessly self-promote. It's just the way that works best for me right now. Again, this is going to be one of the craziest, busiest weeks of my entire life. I can't share with you guys what's going on now, but you'll see very, very shortly, very, very soon. 50% of it is for you. The other 50% of it is for me, okay? So just know that, you know, I make my decisions based upon what's best for the tribe um, and also what's best for me because you guys are so important to me and this is, I'm a Virgo, I'm, my existence is to be in service to others and this is how I'm working that out. So there's a lot going on. Now I'm gonna put down in the description box um, the timestamps because we have three piles. Now I'm not a big fan of like pick a card piles, you know, card pulls on YouTube, and I have my reasons for that. Maybe I'll explain it in a video. If you'd like to hear me talk about that, I'm more than happy to do that. Let me roll up my sleeves of my Star Tribe Bahati Vibe hoodie. I am just, again, I just love this hoodie so much. It's, it's so comfy, and it's so black. Like, I love black. I love dark. There was a time where all I wore was black every single day, and this is just, how could I not have a black hoodie when all I do is wear hoodies? Look at that! <laughs> Very proud, and I'm really hoping to do this again because I had so much fun with this project. Like, you know how there's some projects that it kind of takes something out of you? This took nothing, like it wasn't, it was all fun. It was all fun. All right, so anyways, the links for the hoodie are down below, and also here are the three piles, and the timestamps are gonna be down below. So just, I'm not gonna show you guys the cards. I really want you guys to resonate with the number. I'm gonna pick a number, got one in the top of my head, one through three, and we're gonna go ahead and dive into this. I'm gonna start with number three first. Yes, yes, I'm going to start with number three first. Okay, the first cards that we have pulled are Message in a Bottle. Uh-oh, can you guys see this? Let's see, boop, I'm working with my camera or my phone because I it's the easiest to upload, it's the fastest, and I after this, I'm you know moving on to working with my clients and stuff like that. Okay, then we have the snake, oh my God, the snake and the ring. So if this is card number three, is it actually number one because I'm doing it first? Just thoughts. I just made this confusing, didn't I? Queen of Swords and King of Swords. Loving it. I've been seeing a lot. I picked number three, by the way. Or is it number one? I go where you go. Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. It's so funny because the Queen of the Swords do not believe in magic. They believe in what is, you know, reasonable. What is sound? What makes sense? Balancing act. Okay, I already know what this is. Romantic feelings and divine timing and confidence. The first thing that I feel for those of you guys that picked group number three or group number one. I'll have emojis and let me go ahead and update this so it can catch my face. Okay, the first thing that I'm seeing is, honestly, I find it so interesting that the partnership, the, the two the two partners came together. They both have the same mindset of, does this, is this logical? Is this something that we want to do? I've lived, I've learned, I've experienced. And from that, that's how I'm going to make my choices, my decisions moving forward. For those of you guys that picked this group, 
Um, and I'm probably gonna make it a swords or something like that. But for those of you guys that picked this group, this week is gonna be all about you really allowing yourself to align with your desires, not um, limit yourself with that. And I feel like there's gonna be obviously messages or information, especially with message in a bottle. Um, it's something that's gonna come in and also Mercury now turning direct November 18th, which is this Monday. Um, this Monday that we're talking about it and Mars entering into the sign of Scorpio tomorrow the 19th and Sun moving into the sign of Sagittarius on the 22nd and then Venus conjunct Jupiter on the 24th. These are things, oh God, and then we have, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the chart right now, Mars um, opposite Uranus. You guys are going through this week if you chose this group, this is about you deviating from what is expected of you what is realistic what makes sense to you and allowing your desires your senses your heart your passion allowing that to pull forward and to give whatever that thing is a shot instead of saying a hard no to it you have to say yes i think that the reason why this card is coming up of confidence is because you actually have to have confidence in the divine you have to have confidence in the higher power your higher self because it's going to not make sense and it's not going to feel safe but you're still gonna be drawn to it anyways. And it's gonna be really hard for you to kind of balance that out. Well, did we get the card of balancing act? Yes, we did. It's gonna be really hard for you to balance that out and to make sense of it. But the thing is, is it's not for you to make sense of it. It's for you to go with it. It's for you to experience regardless. It's about divine timing. It's about blessing. It's about gifts. These are things that the, the universe has aligned in your life that it wants you to have. And it's going to be with you regardless it's such a good move like it's such a good move we have romantic feelings here we have the ring of commitment we have the snake which is the card of desire and things that are normally forbidden to us but everything comes with balance so it's not that it's a snake is all bad or all good it just is what it is it's about believing in magic it's about taking that journey taking that first step and allowing yourself to go with the experience i go where you go i really feel like with the king of swords and the queen of swords you're linking up with other people who are like-minded but you just have to you know hand in hand take that first step leap of faith and be like you know what this is against all the odds and i just feel like i want better for myself i want a better life i want beauty i want to have fragrance and i'm really drawn to like flowers which is something here with the king of king and queen of swords these two characters if they were to walk through a garden they would be like oh that species is blah 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 when there's other people that are like smell the rose and they're like no i don't i don't need to do that i know all of the scientific background and the origin of this flower so i don't need to smell it. it's like smell the rose like allow yourself to receive this it's, its sole purpose is not science. Its sole purpose is not math. It's not for it to be analyzed. It's for you to enjoy it. And I really feel like this is about you this week when Mercury goes um, direct and Mars enters in the sign of Scorpio and um, Venus conjuncts Jupiter. This is all about you stepping outside, especially this energy around um, Sagittarius. It's you stepping outside of your normal limitations and allowing yourself to experience to experience, to enjoy, to have pleasure, okay? Now let's move on to number two. Okay, number two, we have a leg up. This card is all about getting help and assistance from others. We have, oh, we have the coffin, we have the key, we have the clover. I just find that so sweet. I feel like there's a door opening up for my number twos. Um, it seems lucky, it comes out of, the dead it comes out of what has ended it comes out of and i feel it's present it's like now like focus on every day this here right now don't go too forward into the into the future don't go too far back into the past stay in the present be in the moment that's there's like doors opening up right here you have the key or someone's going to hand you the key and you're going to take that key you're going to open the door and you're like this is where i am now and to get there, I have all of this support around me, whether this be my friends, whether my family, whether a spirit, whether it's me speaking highly to myself, me, you know, calling the shots, something is ending. So something can open the door for you. This is now, yeah, loneliness. The card of loneliness is here. Relationship, creative blockages. These are things in the card body. 
These are things that are all about linking up with other people, not doing everything all by yourself, all on your own. Yes, you can do it, but I just feel like you have to go where there's others around you um, that can support you, that can lift you up, that can help you. If you don't feel like they are there, you have to ask for it yourself. You have to maybe potentially go outside of your comfort zone and connect with your neighbor or connect with the community, connect with the tribe or whatever, and stop fearing that. Like, stop fearing that's actually going to create more blockages of you trying to do everything all by yourself. It's really important for you to link up with others. Free yourself. Free yourself. Some of you guys, the restriction that you have is you trying to control everything. You trying to do everything your way. It's your way or the highway. I really feel like it's time for you to free yourself from that mentality and link up with others to get help, to receive help. Okay, wow. We have the card here, Dry Desert. This is that thing too, it's like being out in the desert and having to rely on yourself. So maybe some of you guys are actually so used to it being such a dry, desert, barren land. You can do it, I feel like you can survive, but I just feel like someone needs to come in and, and help you. Grounding, go deep, explore your roots. So yeah, this is about slowing down. Give yourself much more credit. Wow, I'm getting controversial messages here. Four of Wands and Knight of, of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like so, especially with Four of Wands and Knight of Pentacles, these cards too are very much about being grounded. It's not about you, if, if your stubbornness, I am, I'm almost getting like the stubbornness that you have, your mentality is going to be the same thing that, I don't want to say it can kill you, but it will create more problems and solutions because you're, you know, stuck in the, in the way. Um, it, at the same time, you being grounded, it's about you cementing yourself in the belief that you know what it is good for me to connect with other people it's it's not that I'm you know making myself vulnerable or I'm putting myself at risk for asking for help everybody at some point needs to ask for help there needs to be a sense of uh, tribe and community here um, so I really feel like you guys are grounding yourselves in that and that that you're learning how having support around you and having a, a community around you is such a good thing um, and then for some of you guys, if you do feel that support, um, especially with give yourself more credit and dry desert, this is really about slowing it down for you and to not try to chase and run after what everybody else is doing. It's about taking your time and it's one step at a time. And that's, that's something that I always notice with the dry desert is that this is a very, has a lot of respect to the elements, meaning like what's going on in your environment around you. Some things cannot be forced. You have to work with it, not against it, or you'll become a victim of it. So, and the way to do that is by slowing it down, grounding yourself, not going out when the sun is the highest, meaning like don't look at it and be like, okay, well, I went through this amount of pain and torture, so the reward should be greater. That's a mentality you need to toss out. That's a mentality that needs to get left behind. It's not about how much pain you're able to endure. It's about how your ability to thrive and your ability to make it to your destination. What does that mean for you? That doesn't mean that you have to take on, you know, burden, su burden, suffering, things that you don't need to do. That is relentless torture on yourself that universe is telling you right now or telling me to tell you that you don't need to be doing that. So give yourself the credit. Give yourself a moment to be like, okay, I don't need to prove anything to anyone and definitely not to myself and definitely not to other people. So I'm going to take my time step by step and along the way I'm going to ask for help. I'm going to do what I need to do in order to get to the end result. That's how you free yourself from this like, you know, I'm out here in this dry desert all alone. You're really not. You really are actually going to be connecting with other people and getting a leg up from them. You're not going to be doing this alone. You're actually opening doors, but I think the best way to do that is someone hang, handing you the key or you asking for the key to help you to get to the end result. Now let's go ahead and focus on number one, group number one, um, or is it group number three? <laughs> Mercury retrograde slash direct is making this um, the numbers all confusing and I'm here for it. I like to keep you guys on your toes. Okay, so what we have here is a card of independence the card of being enough. Then we have, ooh, engagement. Things are getting serious, hot and heavy. I'm here for it. Then we have wide open. I'm open to those um, unlimited opportunities and potentials. What is out there for me? I'm enough. I'm willing. I'm open to receive it. I, I tell myself that I am ready to receive it. 
It's all about me taking that first step. It's all about me being vulnerable, be, me being expressive, me being like, I don't know what is out there. This is very fool, like energy of the fool. And that's the thing too that a lot of people don't talk about the fool card is the level of independence and confidence that it takes. I don't know if you guys can see that. Confidence that it takes in order to take that first step. You have to be, be equal part bold, equal part naive, because you have no idea what is out there, but you're gonna do it. And my group number one this week is all about, look at that, great adventure, take a risk, venture forward. This is all about new beginnings for those of you guys that pick number one, spreading your wings, getting on that boat, getting on that plane, doing what you gotta do. You have what it takes, oh my gosh. You have what it takes, yes, being enough. You have everything that you need in order to do this. This is very magician, very fool vibes that I'm getting. Um, especially with the page of pentacles, the um, the nine of pentacles. This is about what I have status quo is actually really good. I have resources. This is where I'm going. I'm planting that first seed. I'm starting that business. I'm starting that passion project. I'm going on this venture. I'm going on this journey. It's newness. There's a lot of newness. Neptune, I'm really interested in Neptune going direct for those that pick this group because I'm feeling like the cloudiness, the fogginess as you're going along this first step, you're taking this first step, it's going to clear up. You're going to ground yourself. You're going to center yourself. Soulmates. Oh my God. Yes. You are the card of soulmates. This is something that either you're linking up with someone that feels like a soulmate whether it be a romantic relationship or a partnership. But what I'm really getting from this is that it's really clear as far as what your sole purpose is. And that's why this great adventure is worth the risk. It's worth the risk. Um, and it comes in like, bam, I'm ready to go. With the letter card, the whip card, all of this is here. Like we are ready to go. We're ready. I don't know why I'm drawn to this, but most people are... This card says most people are just trying to survive. That's the thing. That's what most people are trying to do. But what is my tribe trying to do? We're not just trying to survive here. That's maybe their reality. This is not your reality. This is about thriving. This is about deviating from the norm in order to step out, to step out no matter what it is. I mean, we have the first group that's all about taking that leap of faith, being wide open and engaging yourself, committing yourself to a higher level. Then we have group number two that was all about freeing yourself. Then we had um, group number three or number one, whichever one we, we chose to call it, with confidence and the king and the queen of swords, which is like literally this is new for me. The, this group was all about, this is new for me. I don't know, you know, what this is going to look like. I just know that I'm drawn to it. I had a reading last week that someone pulled that same type of energy and it really resonated with them, but that's what I was getting. All right, you guys, I know that that was a lot. Um, I'm surprised my battery lasted throughout that because while I was filming it, I was actually at, you know, 16%, but I'm going to get this uploaded for you guys. Honestly, it is I've been working really hard for, for years and it is so humbling and awesome um, to continue to do this um, in the way that I have done it. I've never compromised and I know that you guys know that about me and I'm just so honored we hit 100K when I was in vacation in Florida with my mom. That in itself, being on vacation and spending time with my mom was a rarity because I have been working so hard for so long that I don't think you guys realize how much I did not have time to, I did not make time to spend with my family for years. Even on holidays, I was working for to create oils, to work magic, my intention. And I literally, that was the first time in years, well, the second time, because I did it another time. But this, like, within the last month, within the last three, 30 days, where it was exclusively just me spending time with my family and it's just such a blessing and it's so humbling every day I wake up and I'm like this is amazing that I'm able to talk tarot with you in the way that we do and I know that I say it again and again but I am just so honored and I'm, I feel so blessed and so grateful and thank you guys for literally being my star tribe and being there with me through it all the majority of you guys have been there with me since I was just on Twitter um, and oh, I do have announcements. Um, the biggest announcement that I feel like you guys are gonna love is outside of the merchandise and another one that's coming, but I am going live once again. Remember, for those of you guys that are part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, I used to do this every Monday. I used to go live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are going to do that again, and I'm so excited because I was, at one point, I just, spirit, I came to New Orleans, 
and spirit was just like cut this off can't do this anymore and I honored it and it was right of course it was but we are back energy is changing again there's a lot of things going on in my personal life and I wanted to come back and we are gonna be going live with free for everyone here on YouTube every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we're gonna be going talking about the planets pulling cards all of this is free I'm not charging anyone for it you know that's not how I roll I really do this because I love it not that you know I shouldn't but it's it's just something that I, I I benefit so much from it you guys benefit so much from it it's a gift for me to you so just mark your calendars put the alarm in we go Bahati Vibe Tribe goes live every Monday starting December 2nd of 2019 and we're rolling through that for the rest of the year and it's gonna be amazing and I cannot wait to be able to connect with you guys make sure by that point you some of you guys will have your hoodies by then I'll be wearing my hoodie and you'll be wearing your hoodie we're gonna have mugs of tea and we're gonna be talking about tarot astrology the for the week i'll be answering your questions all of this is free so again set your alarms we're going live again for what was it that i called it during that time Bahati, i don't know we're going live on mondays okay well let me know what you guys want to name it we'll put it down below and i will pick um my favorite and whoever has my favorite name is what i'll pull a card for you guys i'll, I'll reach out to that person and I will do a, a, a mini card read for them. Oh my God, I'm just so excited. Blessings to each of you guys. I don't know if you guys can, guys can tell, but I'm just on cloud nine. Um, but yeah, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's me again, just from Bahati Life. Really quickly, I just wanted to invite you to follow me on my Instagram at Bahati Life, or you can check out my personal Instagram, Jessica X Alexandria. For those of you guys that were concerned about browsing the apothecary, creating a custom oil, even booking a reading with me, you can do that at BahadiLife.com. So I'll link all of those details down in the description box for you to make it easy. In the meantime though, I really do want to invite you to subscribe and to turn on notifications to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, so that you can be a part of my Bahati Vibe Tribe because I post weekly astrology and intuitive messages all the time. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next